if something happened to me, just know that the government tried to kill me because I'm just I'm just being real. Like. Six years, six years to, um, six years to he turned like 60. And then my mom, she got about like 15 more years into, no, I, I'll say about nine. Like, no, no, wait. Like, yeah, my mom has, is not 50 yet. She got about like, you know, 13 more years to I could deport my parents to the islands because I'm starting to notice something. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, uh. If the if something happened to me, just know that the government tried to kill me because I'm just I'm just being real. Like, like all right, like when my dad turns sixty, I am making him move to the Dominican Republic. I don't know where my mom is gonna want to move. I don't know if she's gonna want to go to TNT, or, but her husband is Dominican, so she might gonna have to move to the Dominican Republic. But I don't think she wanna move out there. But I want to move my parents out of America. And I want to move my parents out of America because my grandmother, like, let me tell you something. Like, my grandmother from my mother's that side, she died when she was 75 because she used to live here in America. And uh, my grandfather from my mother's side, he died when he was, like, about 89. And then, like, my, my grandparents from my dad's side, they still alive. And um, that's because they spend so much time in the Dominican Republic because I believe that America be trying to kill you i feel like first of all shit don't be making no sense to me because it's like how do lettuce and how do fruits last so long out here how how does it travel from places to places and last so long i don't give a fuck if they say that the chicken and the food is organic i don't believe it's organic like i don't believe nothing here is organic i feel like they trying to kill you um sooner like let me tell you something i be getting really bad headaches and when i take about six to seven etc a day i feel really i feel my stomach gets really fucked up my I, I i shit different uh i get really nauseous so like my grandmother she was diabetic right and it's like i like they used to give her 10 to 12 pills a day how is that normal how is that normal to get 10 to 12 pills a day how how is that normal? Like, how can a doctor give you so much um, drugs for one day? So that's why I feel like this country just, just they be wanting to kill people. So I'm going to force my parents to move out of here. Like, I want my parents to kill a chicken and eat it the same day. I want them to be able to eat a real organic chicken that they raised. I want them to use vegetables that they grew like and that's what i'm gonna do because i don't know what i would do without my parents like i, I wouldn't like you know like like you know there's certain things that my parents can help me in. i gotta call my godfather back um in a few but anyways it's just so many things that I just don't be understanding and I'm and I'm realizing it and I don't know like I just feel like every the food out here everything out here is artificial like and I just can't and yeah like that's just all I'm saying I'm just trying to educate people like like look for example so many people in um America they eat so healthy a lot of people out here is vegan a lot of our people out here are vegetarian. A lot of people out here just only eat greens. And they still die early out here. Like, they still die early. If you go to the, the to the, to the, to, uh, an island country, people be 105 years old, 100 and some shit years old. And them motherfuckers could outrun a young nigga. Like, they can. Over here, like, the people are just, just, they look so scrawny. They look so scrawny. And I really believe is the food. And I really believe is the way that, um, that we just, 
just just i don't know i just i just don't like i just been noticing shit and i've been telling my parents like listen y'all got into yeah 60 years old because i'm moving y'all out of here and i told them this shit all the time because i'm so paranoid i'm really paranoid i love my parents but yeah i'll talk to you guys later bye he never acts uncomfortable and he just don't he just don't care. And then when I asked him, like, when I started seeing all this fuel, and I was even talking to him, I called him, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Why would you use that word? He literally told me, I didn't even know that was a word for gays. Like, he just really told me, like, I didn't. And it has a different vocabulary. It has a different vocabulary on the dictionary. Now, if that's a word that you guys said that is a bad word for gays, I never even heard that word in the first place. Why don't you educate people about it a lot of people are not aware about what's wrong or right in the lgbt community and that's the thing like it's like why don't we make it why don't we do things to educate instead of bashing and trying to label somebody that they not if you go to a, a if you let me tell you something if you go to a, a country like where my parents is from they really So I'm on a diet and they bring this to the table and she slides me this. <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> Yeah, they eat it up, ain't working for some. You got to make a No cap. Oh, work. The motherfucker been in that motherfucker for five minutes. Call the phone. Man, fuck the music. We want to see that motherfucker. Going outside one-on-one, man. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Right out the door. Going outside. Ten can't float that long. <laughs> For sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, too hard. Yeah, too hard. The chain, yeah. That way. Five carry, man. A million dollars. I'm gonna get that one day. Water. 
Stop trying this shit, nigga. Julio, nigga. Yes, sir. Stand up, man. Ain't nobody want to bet the fifth rack, man. We down by five. I'll bet 10. Fuck, I'll bet 25. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who want to bet? 50 racks. Yeah. Bet. On the Falcons, nigga. What's happening? Yeah. Bet it.